How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Full 2005. It's Torben Tuesday, my favourite day of the month. If you don't know what Torben Tuesday is, it is a day where the Full 2005 developers give us an image that has clues that we need to figure out and solve as to what's in the next update. We might be able to figure out some new cars, some new features, we can figure some stuff out. So we're going to take a look at the brand new Torben Tuesday image we got today and see if we can figure anything out. If you do enjoy these videos guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, it helps out loads. Let's take a look at it. So we actually got an image this week, which is always good. It came with a tweet that said, honestly, Torben's clues are getting more obscure every time. Any idea about this one? It then included the classic Torben Tuesday image with a whiteboard and a few monitors. So what have we got? Well, straight away, we already know the next update that's coming is Her uh, Midnight at Horizon Series 19. So we're going to use that as a bit of a reference to figure out what's coming. So we'll start off with the monitors, as we can see, see if we can find any clues on there. Well, the left hand monitor doesn't really have anything at all. As far as I'm aware, it seems to be the splash loading screen for the Horizon 5 game. There's a bus in it. Some people are saying the bus might be related to something, but I don't think it is. I think there's nothing on this in particular monitor. This monitor, however, is very interesting. It looks to be some kind of area on the Forza Horizon 5 map that's blue, uh, obviously in development. Now, if we look in the bottom left-hand corner of the monitor, we will see the Horizon 5 map very closely zoomed in. And there's a little red section. Now, this red section is highlighted, presumably because that's what this blue thing is located at which seems to be the stadium, because the stadium is in that little red box on the map. So this seems to be a new stadium design, a new stadium evolving world. What the blue thing actually is, I don't know. It looks maybe like it's a running track, but I don't really see how, how what a running track has to do with cars. So I don't really know what it is, but it does looks like does look like it's going to be in the stadium whatever it is pop your ideas down in the comment section below well, what on earth is this blue thing so off of the monitors and onto the whiteboard let's start in the top right hand corner now what we have here is some kind of circle that's got two sections of it we've got this black section and this clear section now this appears to be a representation of the new night time cycle now as on the splash screen it says we are getting extended night time well i believe this is telling us all about it we can see a moon there so i believe this is night time and a sun there this is daytime now if we look at it it looks to be a third it looks to be the new extended night time will be one third night two thirds day now i did a little bit of googling to find out just how long night time actually lasts in a horizon 5 game well the entire day cycle is 100 minutes so one hour and 40 minutes and the night part of it is only 10 minutes long so if we take this and take that it's going to be a third we can judge that we are going to be getting about a 35 minute night time cycle 30 odd minutes night an hour day that seems to be what it's going to be so in this next update we're getting 20 minutes of extra night time by the looks of it what else have we got on the whiteboard well we have four words here 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 and here that are quite blurry invite message decline receive maybe i don't really know what it's trying to tell us update wise maybe they're fixing the invites or messages that are known to be a little bit buggy i'm not sure so we're not really going to focus on that one much we've got some more text here we've got the word designer then we have game and player now these all sorts of be seem to be related where it seems that the, the the box that has the word game in it has an arrow going to player and then coming back now someone over on twitter had a very good idea of what this could mean and it could be an in-game reporting system instead of reporting things through the forums like through the suggestions hub or oh, not suggestions hub sorry the other one i can't remember what it's called now um, but this is this on the whiteboard it looks like we might be getting some sort of in-game reporting system where players can actively report issues or show issues to the developers or the designers and they can fix it i don't know there's going to be some kind of loop between the designers and the players where they can connect and fix issues or add to the game i don't know the whole point of this torben tuesday is to figure things out and guess if we take a look over on the right hand side we have googly eyes now that's a very obvious thing 
don't really know what this could mean. It could be an April Fool's joke that's coming next week. Maybe there's going to be googly eyes on all of the cars. A few people have suggested that it's going to be a, a hint at the company Moon Eyes, which has a very similar icon to the googly eyes. And Moon Eyes is an aftermarket upgrade company. They sell sort of fancy customization things for cars. Uh, mostly interior stuff by the looks of it. Maybe they're getting a collaboration. Maybe some new customizations coming. Or someone else suggested maybe we're getting a Bug Eye WRX Subaru. It's the only car that can be related to eyes or bug eyes, if you know what I mean. All of these are possibilities. Maybe a car like that is coming to the game. Now, further down the whiteboard, we have these icons here. And not going to lie, nobody's really had any ideas for anything else on the board. If you guys have any ideas what any of this stuff could mean, pop it down in the comment section below. Now, we do have a little man down here, which looks to have... He doesn't have whiskers, but he's got them three things coming out of his mouth, if you see what I mean, as if he's making an expression or saying something. Maybe a bit of character customizations coming, extra emotes, extra talking, extra voices, something character related as that's all this could possibly mean. It's got a little smiley face next to it as well. I don't think that means anything. As for the full whiteboard, that is most of the things that people have figured out. There are other things in this image worth mentioning. Someone mentioned that Torben is holding up six fingers. Now this could be nothing, but it, I don't know, the, the way he's holding his hands up, maybe six of something's coming maybe we're getting six new cars and then if we look at the bottom right hand corner on the the monitor he has two tabs open both for the suggestions hub now this could just be another hint another another promotion of the suggestions hub now i agree with them the suggestions hub is a very important thing that all of us should be using if we want to suggest what we want in the game so they're showing it on the Tolman tuesday get onto the suggestions hub and utilize it. That's what they want us to do. So while we haven't been able to figure out any cars, there might be a few features here. The night time's been figured out and stuff like that. It's new stadium, it's pretty cool. If we want to have any idea of the new cars that are coming, once again, we go to the leaked car list. Any of the cars that are in black could possibly be added within this update. I'll be very surprised if one of these cars at least isn't in this next update. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we're going to find out what's in this update in the next Forza monthly live stream. We don't know exactly when that's going to be. It might be this Thursday. It might be Monday next week. It might be Tuesday. Midnight's at Horizon is the next update. The Horizon collectible we've not figured out. Neon decorations maybe at the city. Sorry, stadium. Extended night time is going to be about half an hour long. And the new cars, not really sure. Maybe there's six of them. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think of this Torben Tuesday, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.